All right, you hoes submitted a lot of questions to be answered, so let's get to it. First anime that made you cry? Angel Beats. Yui Hirasawa herself asks, Do you collect anime merchandise, such as shirts or figures? <laughs> nope. Who's your favorite seiyu? Kana Hanazawa, but she's just everywhere nowadays. Remember when it was actually special to have Kana Hanazawa playing a role in an anime? I do. It actually wasn't that long ago. It used to be the case that whenever you'd see Kana in the cast list, you'd be like, ooh, ooh, because it was rare and she was great. Nowadays, you're like, oh look, Kana's in here. Again. It just seems to me like with the mass quantities of roles she's been getting, the uniqueness and quality of her performances has been deteriorating. Especially considering how many of these newer characters sound exactly the fucking same. I don't know. I hope I'm not alone here. Would you consider, or are you currently, learning Japanese with the goal of being fluent? I'm minoring in it right now. I might go back and get a major after I graduate, though. What sort of entertainment do you enjoy besides anime? Books, sports, games... Some video games, some movies, and Magic the Gathering. But I only play EDH and Magic. Who's your favorite Soon Today in Loli? No! But if I had to pick a Soon Today, it'd be Holo. Which anime do you think has the greatest story with the fewest plot holes? Madoka Magica. Kubei just needed a better explanation of entropy. Could have easily been fixed. Where did the name Draconis March come from? There's a game and book series called Mech Warrior. In that universe, there's a... I guess it'd be called a nation, called the Draconis Combine. There's a region between the border of their nation and another nation called the Federated Sons, marked with intense hatred and conflict between the two nations, called the Draconis March. And now you know. If you got the chance to kill one anime character, who would it be? Haruhi Suzumiya. What's your top 10 favorite anime of all time? In ascending order, My Neighbor Totoro, Rebuild of Evangelion, Final Fantasy Advent Children Complete, Canon, Hell Girl, Usagi Drop, The Place Promised in Our Early Days, Kobato, Angel Beats, and Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica. What series have you had the strongest emotional connection to? Angel Beats, well... What's your favorite Pokemon? I'm glad you asked. It's... Celebi! She's so damn cute, and she can time travel. Ironically, the only voice acting role by Rie Kugamiya I actually like. She's a great Pokemon in the games, and I love the unique psychic leaf type combination. So it makes me upset that there's such a huge discrepancy between that and how she is in the movies. She's like helpless, but whatever. I fucking love Celebi, and fuck you if you don't. If you got to make an anime, what studio and staff would you pick, and what would it be about? It would be an adaptation of the books I'm writing, animated by UFO Table. I don't know who would direct it or whatever. I probably want Gen Urobuchi and Jun Maeda in there somewhere. For music, I'd have Yasuharu Takanashi, Jun Maeda, Shiro Sagisu, and Yuki Kajiura. It would be godly. Which anime do you think is the best gateway anime for the Western audience? Death Note is by far the most popular, as a lot of Americans who know nothing about anime still know about it, but I think Code Geass is just better. Looking more closely at your mall account, it seems to rate the majority of anime that you watch under 5. This kind of gives me the impression that you dislike most of the anime out there. I'm curious as to why you continue to watch anime and from what angle you watch it from. The style of your viewing seems highly critical, which contrasts quite sharply with my own. So basically, what makes a good anime in your opinion? This is the question I was expecting. I don't hate anime in general. I just have really high standards. I made a video about how I rate shit, but it has to have good writing, aka substance. Favorite anime OST? Hmm, only one? Probably Kanad, followed closely by Madoka Magica and Hell Girl. Are you watching or reading any of the big three? If so, which is your favorite? Nope, I used to like Naruto. It was good up through the tuning exams, and then gradually fell apart, until it totally shat itself when Shippuden started. Now it sucks. It's probably the popularity's fault. Getting milked and shit. What's your favorite video game series and console? Super Smash Bros., followed by Metroid Prime, and Advance Wars. And the GameCube is my favorite console. Deal with it. Who's your favorite YouTuber who talks about slash badmouths anime? Giguk, probably. He's funny, but not critical whatsoever. But you're entertaining as fuck. What anime did you love even if you knew for a fact it was basically terrible, or hate even if you've seen that it's all around good? I don't love terrible shit, but I kinda like the Pokemon movies. What's a guilty pleasure anime of yours? Guilty Crown, because it's hilarious in its awfulness. 
Would you say that the anime industry is declining in quality and that the audience is not able to recognize this? Ergo, they are eating scraps for dinner instead of the full meal? Yes, definitely. And what a great way to put it too. The industry has been continuously spiraling downwards in an effort to appeal to hardcore otaku culture and milk them for profit, and in doing so, slowly alienate casual viewers more and more. It's a vicious cycle that's killing the industry. What is your favorite Digimon? Digimon sucks. But back in the day, I would have said War Greymon. Do you think anime would be a much more thriving media if they left from moe shows to more western oriented ones? They just need to stop pandering to otaku in general. What is your opinion on Obama's re-election and the current state of politics in general? America is fucked! I have a little something to say about the current push for gun control. When a criminal breaks into your house and has a gun, you'll be sitting there thinking, man, I wish us law-abiding citizens could acquire guns so I could defend myself against someone who acquired a gun illegally because criminals don't follow laws. When the next school shooting is happening right before your eyes, you'll have your thumbs up your ass thinking, man, it's too bad the government abolished the Second Amendment because it didn't understand the fact that guns don't kill people. People kill people. And then I'll say, Where's your gun control now? Who is your favorite superhero? Iron Man! What do you think was going on in the minds of the animators in production IG when they were making Guilty Crown? What the fuck is this shit we're animating right now? Pie or cake? Cake. What is your favorite sport? Starcraft. Do you hate when anime fans use Japanese words such as baka, sugoi, kawaii, etc? Yes, especially when that's the only Japanese they know. Are you a much nicer person in real life than you appear to be online? I'm polite until I decide you're an idiot, which is exactly what I do online, so I'm the same. What's the first anime you watched subbed? Uh, probably Naruto, way back when I was a Narutard. Do you prefer dubs or subs? Dubs? as long as it's a good dub. There are a lot of really high quality dubs out there, and I'd rather hear the anime than read it. Do you hide the fact that you watch anime in real life? Nope, all my friends either like it themselves, or don't have a problem with it. What is your opinion on over-the-top anime that makes stuff way more cooler? Way more cooler? but highly unrealistic. I hate it. It's not a parody or straight comedy, but people still let it get away with cliches and ass pulls and generally bad writing, just because it has a lot of style points. If you found yourself trapped in an underground Egyptian chamber, how would you escape if you only had a revolver and a pen to help you? I forgot to mention that the chamber is filled with transvestite scorpions and radioactive monkeys. Why are the scorpions transvestites and not the monkeys? This is important. What would you do if you got your hands on a real death note? Things I ought not do. Do you have a job? Nope. School right now. Have you noticed how your hand disappears when you cover it with a blanket? No. Way. Be right back. Going to confirm. Holy shit! No way! Do you hate plot armor? Do you really need to ask? Do your pillows try to kill you when you're asleep? It's an epic mortal battle every night. What is your opinion on feminism? Feminism is now more about feminine supremacy than equality. It's a totally outmoded concept that's become warped after its usefulness ended, like unions. What's an anime you think is very underrated or overlooked? Let's just say you'll find out a couple of those in the not-so-distant future. If you could change one thing about your favorite anime, what would it be? Madoka Magica doesn't really need any changes, except what I said before. Angel Beats is my second favorite, though, and that needed the full two cores it was originally planned for. Why don't you read manga? I can't read. Do you think High School of the Dead would have been a fantastic anime if it didn't have any fan service in it? Maybe. How would you feel if it was announced that SAO would get another season that would have at least 100 episodes? Oh, I'm sure there will be at least 100 episodes of this shit by the time we're done. It just makes too much money not to milk. Can you read Leet? What's your favorite and least favorite genre of anime? Jose and Sane and maybe demographics, but they behave much like genres. I love both, really. For actual genres, my favorite is drama, followed closely by romance. For least favorite, probably ecchi, followed by yaoi and harem. Hentai doesn't even count. Also, if you explain to me why I show so much goddamn contempt towards harem protagonists... What? Probably because they're shit? <laughs> 